And as you can see, things are going to be a little bit different this time. Um, my old camera decided to bite the dust. So currently, I'm going to have to be using my cell phone to record video. So until I get a new camera, my video is going to look like this for a while. But that said, today I will be reviewing the 1 to 1 44th scale high grade cosmic era. Ale Strike Gundam from Mobile Suit Gundam Seed. Size compared to a soda can. Pretty standard size for a kid of this scale. Get that out of there. Now, as far as colors go, this guy pretty much has the standard Gundam color scheme of white, blue, red, a little bit of yellow, and some dark gray with a smattering of a couple other colors mixed in thanks to stickers. View from above, and from below. Posability is pretty good, but this is a Gundam model kit, so that's to be expected. There is a neck... A ne uh, yeah, there's a neck! There is a neck joint in the head and one in the body, so the head can move up that far, down that far, side to side a little bit. You can go all the way around, as long as you watch the collar, and can go back and forth. Arms can go back and forth at a joint in the body, as well as up and down and back and forth with a ball joint, well, in that same joint, I guess, all the way around the shoulder, out to the side that far, the shoulder, swivel all the way around just below the shoulder, bend that far, two points in the elbow, there is a ball joint for the wrist, side to side, in and out, swivel all the way around. There are two ball joints in the torso, one in the upper torso, one in the lower torso, so some back and forth movement, side to side, and swivel, but you're not going to get all the way around. Front skirts are all one piece, up and down. Side skirts are on a swivel hinge, in and out, swivel just a little bit like that. Back skirts aren't going anywhere. Legs can go forward that far, back that far. I decide that far with the uh, side skirts hopping off. Let's just get that back on. Yeah, about that far with the side with the legs for the side skirts decide to be a problem. Swivel just below the hip. Bend that far at two points in the knee. Ankle armor can move up and down and side to side. There is a joint in the lower part of the leg, allows the le uh, feet to move back and forth, swivel a little bit. And the feet are on ball joints, side to side, up and down, and swivel. So, posability is pretty good, but this is a Gunpla kit, so that's pretty much to be expected. As far as accessories, he does have quite a few, and you can see a couple of them over there on the side. Make things simple. We'll start with these. I forget the exact name of these things, but they're basically his little daggers that he comes with. I want to say Slash Harkins, but no, that's a different show. Uh, they're just molded in dark gray plastic. Uh, the side skirts don't open, and these don't fold up, so there's nowhere to store them. You can have him hold them, though. Just drop it into his hand. There you go. He actually holds it pretty well. There's, They're uh, pretty tight in there, so that's good at least. Get that out of there. There's nowhere to store them, so you really just have to put them off to the side. <laughs> then we have his shield, which is mostly white plastic, a little bit of gray, some red, and a little bit of yellow. And oddly a sticker here. I don't know why they didn't make it a separate piece or whatever, but okay. With the shield joint, there is up and down movement and a swivel. This can be attached two different ways, so you can have it mount to the end like that, or by pulling this out, put it like that, attach it to the arm like that. Me personally, 
for the shield to be on the side. So you've got this post here, port on the back of the arm, put them together, and there he is with the shield equipped. Nice and easy. And we have his beam rifle. Mostly dark gray plastic. This piece can move a little bit. Not really anything too much to talk about here. As far as equipping it, just get the back of the hand off. Or just take the hand out. Sure, that works too. Like I said, just get the... Come on. Shows a really... There we go. Usually isn't that difficult. Anyway, just get the back of the hand off, wrap the fingers around there, and then put it back in place. Come on. And there you go. And then pop the hand back on if it came off, like it did with me. And that's pretty much where it's staying, because there's really nowhere to store it. <laughs> Second to last... We have the Ale Striker back. Let's move you off to the side. But as you can see, is mostly black plastic, a bit of red, and some white. Tiny bit of yellow down there. It does have quite a bit of posability. These big wings can move up and down. And these smaller wings are on swivel hinges, so back and forth, in and out. You can equip very easily. There's a post right there port right there. Only problem is it doesn't stand when it's on. I mean, if you get everything pointed straight down, you know, get these straight down, fold down the wings, you can sort of get him to stand, but then you can't really tell he's wearing the striker pack that well. And then lastly we have the beam sabers. Just white pieces of plastic and two translucent pink beams. Which, with this camera, actually look pink! Isn't that incredible? <laughs> anyway, there are just uh, posts right here, ports here, cat hair not included. Put them together, and there you go. You can equip those nice and easy, just drop them into his hand. Bada bing, bada boom. Am I from the 40s now? Good God. Just get out. Storing them's nice and easy. Come on, get out of the shot. There are these little things right here. If I can get them turned around. Why are they like this anyway? Oh yeah, because I'm an idiot. Now I just get that like that. And you just take the beam saber handle, put it into there. And there it is stored. Let me get the other one fixed. And there he is with the beam saber stored on the back. And these are ball joints, so up and down, back and forth, swivel. Overall, not too bad. Not quite as detailed as the real grade, but that's to be expected. I mean, it's a high grade, not a real grade. Overall, a pretty good kit, though. The use of stickers in a couple spots is kind of weird. I mean, these are all stickers. That's a sticker. At least these aren't stickers. That, thank God. But still, they did use stickers in some odd spots. But overall, it's a pretty good kit. Well, that pretty much does it for my review of the 1 to 144th scale high-grade Cosmic Era Ale Strike Gundam. So until next time, bye bye